a good day out there today on the grass. Questions? Now, following up from yesterday, Tim Gleason as a starting punter, what went into that decision? I think he's hitting it a little bit better right now, a little more consistently. So I, I'm not ready to say we won't use two punters in the game. We may, but uh, but I think he deserves the opportunity to go out there first. And how important is that field position against a team like Navy that you know is going to try and dominate time of possession? Things like field possession and and possessions in general are, are critical. Are critical and. If you can play your defense well, the longer the field is they have to drive, the better chance you have of stopping them at some point along the way. Any depth chart or injury changes, you, updates you can give us before the report? <laughs> really nothing. I'll, I'll meet with Dave here in a little bit, and, and then we'll put something out. I, I do, uh, you know, the guys that were are questionable, I expect to have a role. That's all I, you know, I'll be able to say right now. I don't know what that role will be just yet. Now, if you look there year by year, rushing numbers, um, obviously they're always good. Uh, but even when they set the school record, it was only 348 yards a game. I think last year they were second in the country, 295 or something. Like that. What's, I know it's a small sample, but over 400? Why are they over 400? That's, that's an incredible threshold, right? Well, big plays in the run game. Yeah, you, you don't get to numbers like that by just going three, four, and five yards a carry. It's really big plays. And if, you, if we play disciplined defense, the idea is not to give them those big plays. You know? And if, the, if, you can make them, if you can make them take enough threes and fours and twos and fives, somewhere along the way you've got a chance to stop them to create a turnover. But if they can chunk the field on the ground, I've said this about P.J., one of the most valuable things about Paul James is that he, he creates big plays in the running game. And if they create big plays in the running game, you know, that's how those numbers spike. Kyle, it looks almost done with practice. They were over last week. I mean, are you happy with the work that they did? Focus and I felt like by the end of Sunday we were over it. I really did. I, I think they've they've been very focused this week. We've had a good week of preparation. It's the it's it's the right kind of opponent to play when you're coming off coming off a game like we did for sure. You know, and I believe that you know whether the result is what you want or not because success brings challenges too. But you know when you're coming off a game like that where we were very disappointed, this this opponent focuses you right away as soon as you turn the film on. Talked a lot about the safeties coming down. How much different is for Quentin kind of moving more towards the middle in this defense? It's different. It's different for almost everybody. You know, it really is. So I think this week is a different week for just about everybody. You know, on the defense, everybody's got their own role, and and you have to play very disciplined defense the way they play very disciplined offense to make sure you limit some of those big plays that we're just talking about. I know you changed something with your training camp routine with the time. Have you changed anything with your game week routine in terms of? You know, walk through or the um, hitting in practice. Anything? Any changes? Not so much the hitting in practice. We do most of our hitting on Tuesday and Wednesday. That that's been that's been standard. It's it's really the the Thursday, Friday, the two days before the game where we've we've adjusted a little bit. We do more of a run through now on Thursdays and then a little bit more of a practice on Fridays. And the, the people we've talked to, what they've said is that gives you a ch- your body a chance to heal better, and then gives you a chance to rev the motor back up as you get closer to, to game time. So that's really the. Uh, it's a minor adjustment. It was the flip-flop the other way, right? It used to be practice Correct. Thursday. Correct. We would go a little bit harder. We'd have helmets and, and, and sometimes shoulder pads, sometimes spiders on Thursday, and then really more of a walk-through on Friday. So those two days have kind of been interchanged. I know you guys won't get to see it, but is it different playing on the campus of one of the academies just because of the pregame parade? You know, more of a fan thing, but more of the pregame parade stuff. Everything. For the fans and the families, I, there's no doubt it's a, it's a great experience. Uh, for us... There is a mystique to those stadiums, uh, and, and when you go into them and you walk and you get there and you're walking around the stadium and you're looking up at some of the things that are displayed, I think it's, I think it's a special place. Uh, I think Annapolis, West Point, they're special places, and, and one of the reasons why I enjoy playing these games. Kyle had another kickoff out of bounds. Is there something he's, is he trying to get too cute where he's aiming it or is he just mishitting it? What's going on with that? I, I think it's just focus. I, I really do. Ky- Kyle has, has been an excellent kickoff guy when he strikes the ball well. It's probably – more akin to a golf swing than anything else. If your eyes come up a little bit quick uh, or if you try to be a little bit too perfect, as you said, I don't know that that's necessarily a, a wrong criticism. You know, what I've said to him is, hey, you, you hit it as well as anybody we've had. Don't try to be so perfect. You know, get focused on your process. And I, I think he's over that and passed it. There's been a lot, at least I've seen people talking about Kamoko's block and how high he got up. Can you go back to that day you saw him in the bubble during that camp that just Yes, but sure, you know, it, really, it was actually out on the club fields, you know, where the linemen were that day. And, and um, I went out there and I watched him run around. I just thought he was a really explosive guy. I want to say he, he broad jumped over 10, which you know, a guy broad jumps over nine is pretty impressive. When a guy goes over 10, it's not very common. 
Um, and he was just a twitched up explosive athlete. And he was kind of gangly and lean and he's, he's, he's still lean. He's filling out a little bit now, but, um, but it doesn't surprise me because he was, uh, it didn't take long to figure out he has, he had a special skill set. And then I guess you mentioned the team as a whole getting over the game. How'd Gary practice this week? What, you know, any, where's his mindset at going into this game? I think we've had a good week of practice. I think Gary, I think Chris, I think really everybody on the team we've had as a team a good week of practice. I think Gary's been very businesslike. Um, you know, working through the game plan, learning the game plan. It's a different game plan, different matchups, different schemes. Uh, but I think a very businesslike approach, which is exactly what we needed this week. Thanks, Thank you.